elsewhere, it has been a new normal for the country ever since the coronavirus pandemic was first reported, occasioning a host of adjustments, including disruption of the education calendar. The decision to suspend learning has presented a unique challenge with some institutions adopting technology as they struggle to surmount the bottlenecks. But amid the disruptions, a young information technology student at a local university has developed an application software that he says can be the best solution yet to the e-learning challenge in the country, Yusuf Farah reports. The coronavirus pandemic continues to disrupt normal life as we know it. The new normal nowadays involving working from home, sanitizing and maintaining social distances in public places. The education sector being one of the most hard hit sectors in the country, classes now turn into empty lecture halls. Education CS Professor George Magoha highlighting when the need to adopt online learning as the only adequate response to the challenges in the education sector presented by the pandemic. They say that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. It is a proverbial phrase that seems to have prompted Fabrice Mugabe, a fourth year Bachelor of Business and Information Technology student at Zetek University, into action after the country witnessed disruptions occasioned by the coronavirus pandemic. When the education calendar was disrupted, Fabrice embarked on a journey to develop an application software that will provide e-learning options for its end users. Dubbed Mogra School Academy, the online learning platform for primary, secondary, higher education and professional development institutions provides a platform for learners, instructors and learning managers for a secured and integrated learning system. Fabrice says he was motivated to develop the application so as to enhance delivery and quality of education in the country while easing access to quality education to all learners. I did it because people have different backgrounds of education. But with Moga School, you can access quality education wherever you are at any time. The application, currently in use at Noor Academy located in the city's Pangani area, has among other features an interactive whiteboard, live classes and certified courses complete with an administrator, instructor and student dashboard. This is what happens when you come to the dashboard. Here, Fabrice is logging in into the application as the teacher. Hey guys. Can you hear me? Once logged in, a code is shared to the students who use it to join the session. A few meters from where Fabrice is seated, Scholastica Kivinya is following the class on her laptop. In the hallway, Victor Kibet, another student, is also following proceedings from his phone. According to Fabrice, the application has the capacity to hold up to a thousand students at the same time. You can hold as many classes as you can. You can create uh, the breakout rooms. You can even uh, record from morning to evening. You can do whatever you want with my application. Now again, it has a whiteboard inside. <coughs> the video quality is ultra HD. You see, you can you see someone very clearly. For Scholastica and Victor, the interaction with the application has been welcome news. It is a good application. You can interact with your lecturers, ask any question in case of any arresting issues. It, is a, it has good features and where you can be able to communicate with the, the fellow students and the lecturer. Okay, I call it with a phone and it does good figures and it does help us to study. It does help us to interact with, uh, with other students. And lecturers. Digital learning is a way to go. Fabrice hopes that he will attract more investors as he hopes to enhance the functionalities of the application software. In terms of funding, my university has helped me a lot and I'm looking forward to work with many invest investors, eh, like for either from public or private sectors, because the innovation is not uh, just doing an application. Innovation, innovation is just more of interacting with people and funding, and you make it huge. The local innovation that can see end users access critical learning materials and allow parents and guardians to monitor their learner's progress at a cost of 500 shillings a month, a testament that the country has the capacity to provide home-made solutions that if well utilized can help it get to the next level in development. For Fabrice and Mugabe, it is his hope that the application will not only be used during these challenging times of coronavirus but past the pandemic as well.
Reporting for Channel 1 News, my name is Yusuf Farr.